Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Banner Rider. Today uh, is my second day on my very first A2 bike here in Spain and um, I have selected a little tour going from Mena Madena all the way to El Burgo and uh, I've never been here but it's kind of nice all these uh, mountains or and oh, Astro Lab Okay. Um, yeah, my second day on the CB500X, the new model, 2019. And um, yesterday I w went along the coast a little bit. Maybe you've seen my video about this and how I picked up, how and when I picked up my bike. And today, I'm sorry, maybe bad uh, sound quality, but I cannot close my visor because it's so hot and uh, also uh, luckily there are not so many flies here in Spain so not like every five seconds some fly flies into my helmet here so what is this looks like a water tower or something anyways um, yeah I'm on my way to El Burgo and Ronda I'm not going to Ronda though it's too far well, it's not that far, but I didn't want to go that far with the new bike. Uh, I have to get used to it and everything, you know. Um, we have to go straight. Straight, straight, straight. I guess this way there. Yep. Oh, it's kind of a nice area here too. Yeah. Um, that's what I wanted to tell you. This is my second vlog with my own CB500X. And um, I just have to break it in first. I guess breaking in is the right term, not to, wa to wear it in, I guess you don't say. <laughs> and But I forgot yesterday, so sorry about this, about my bad English. I guess I have to break it in. Yeah, it's not a race bike and I only go to four or five thousand rpm at the moment but I think it's very comfortable so I think that should serve me well on my trips around Spain besides uh, that's why I kind of hesitated you know should I take something like this adventure bike not adventure bike should I take a racing kind of version because I don't really go that far, you know, I don't really travel, I don't stay at places, you know, because I'm a poor banal rider and uh, that's uh, why, why, what I cannot do, you know, I cannot stay here and there and go to Madrid and blah 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 or maybe to Paris or Berlin with the bike, besides I wouldn't want to, it's so rainy and the rest of Europe, so yeah, I have to check out the uh, gear shift here and stuff if it gets better because yesterday when I had it brand new it was still clunky, I told you already. And um, yeah, I hope this is going to get better, the gear, the gears, the I say gear case here, and uh, gear drive, oh well, you know what I mean. And. Uh, I'm just testing it a little bit, you know, and I have to get used to it, of course, as well, because it's totally different to a scooter, of course, and it's totally different when just doing a test ride, because a test ride, you just go from here to there, and that's about it, you know, but with this, you know, you encounter all kinds of issues and problems, and maybe grades where you have to stop, and then you have to get started and stuff you know uh, I'm still learning and the very unfortunate thing was as I said already um, in riding school or driving school here in Spain they didn't teach you anything anything at all you know just we just had to pass this parkour with these pylons going 
125 seconds and if you can do this they were quite happy and the, 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 the examiner was happy but anything else you know like how to do turns how to shift how to uh, take the curves you know and stuff like that you don't learn this in driving school and I think that's a really big shame because that's what they should te teach you in driving school and not going through a parkour in 25 seconds this is really this was really terrible anyways I'm talking too much again I'll shut up now a little bit Yeah, that's a nice road for bikes actually if you know this road better already then it really is a nice road to learn how to do the curves and stuff you know I don't know how to lean really nobody te teaches you that or you have to all learn it from YouTube you know that's really a shame I don't really like this they did, did a shitty job in in riding school and you just there you know, they just want your money and that's it at least I was able to pass the test quite you know fairly quickly or the exam but other than that, really, it's... I really didn't like it, you know? pass or else they're gonna be like ang angry maniacs I'm not gonna do these curves like a weasel yet and I think I have to be careful with the tires how long do you have to wait with these tires before they are worn up sorry broken in <laughs> because I'm kind of worried that they're going to slip and stuff how many kilometers do you have to do before you can actually go a little bit faster with the tires Please put it in the comments down below. Yeah, it is quite a lot of fun actually when you have a bike and you can go riding these curves, you know. That is quite a lot of fun. Of course I did that with my scooter also, but you know, it's a little bit different, so. actually saying hello here in Spain I've never seen that before and I actually if I wouldn't be the first to do this you know they wouldn't say hello back I'm sure I'm always the ass to do this <laughs> but who you know who cares you know even if they don't say hello you should do this because they're your biker buddies right Yoo let's go down this great almost there and then we go back already I had a little incident today actually I didn't tell you um, when I stopped to put on my camera before I stopped you know the, the engine was still running um, my um, oil light came on and usually you know that would be only okay if the ignition is on or so and the motor is not running but the motor was still running and the light came on so I don't know if that is correct or I don't know maybe I should ask the Honda about this you know I don't want this oil light to come on you know that gives me the creeps <laughs> I don't want to damage my engine anywho we are 
are almost there. I don't know what's so special about El Bogo. Maybe they have some burgers there. Why, why is it called El Bogo? Somebody tell me and let me know in the comments down below. Oh, looks quite nice actually. Oh, look at this. That looks quite nice. It's almost like Torlox. That also looks quite nice. But to go in there, I guess by bike, it's a pain in the ass because you cannot turn around and stuff and it's kind of hilly, hilly billy. So, about time to turn back. Oh, here it is, El Bogo. So, we will go back now. That's a church up there, huh? Maybe we will we'll turn here. Maybe we will turn here. Let's go. Okie dokie, let's go back now. I just took a little trip as I said. Just want to wear everything in. No, oh, sorry, break everything in. <laughs> oh, actually when coming from the other direction, you know, you have different views. That's also quite nice. Actually nicer than coming this way. Look at this mountain there. So actually, we have to change this now. Go home. So the average is three liters now and this is with hill with hilly area so if I actually go not on hilly area I guess I could do under two under three liters you know that is pretty cool that's what I how I liked it actually that's how I like it that's what I wanted I didn't want this four cylinder gas guzzling up the gas you know with five six liters I want to go places without stopping like three times at a gas station <laughs> know what I mean I guess after 1000 kilometers kilometers <laughs> um, I can go a little bit faster and everything is broken in then I guess it's even more fun whoa that bird or whatever it was that was very close I hope it didn't hit it a lot of fun I've actually I've been in the city also today is Sunday although the supermarkets are all open I don't know what is going on but um, there's so much traffic it's just like at Christmas or before just before Christmas uh, you know so many people are in the streets and uh, in their cars it's crazy it's a Sunday I don't know what's going on so but here in the mountains of course nothing you know everything is all good here everything is good we 
beautiful flowers again, huh? Yes, uh, I guess uh, there's nothing else to say and to show you today. I just want to give you my, uh, just an update, you know. As I said, I had a little incident with the uh, oil light. I don't know if that is normal. Um, other than that, you know, I'm just test riding it again. Actually, my own bike now. <laughs> and um, I will go back home now. But yeah, this road is pretty nice to test it out, actually. And it's really not far from me. Only 60 kilometers or 50. And then this uh, twisty road starts. That's really nice. Well, actually, I have a twisty road already close at home. But it's uh, different. You know, this is much better. It's a big, it's a fairly... A big road, the other one where uh, is a little bit smaller. And actually when I stopped also something very nice happened. There was two there were two motorcycle riders going by. One I, I you know when I stopped at uh, and wanted to check my oil light thingy and one actually honked at me and uh, you know kind of asked me showed me you know if i need any help you know i guess that's maybe common i don't know if it's common in germany but uh, i didn't know it was common here as well but that was very nice you know and uh, at that point i didn't I signal that i needed some help and you know i turned back on the motor and everything the light went off again so i guess i didn't need any help but it was kind of strange that the light came on even while the engine was still running so we need to have that checked out and hopefully i can tell you in my next vlog if that is normal or what i don't know anyways uh, that's about it thanks very much for watching this rather short uh, vlog about my second day with the cb 500x 2019 model thank you take care and bye bye this is better right out take care bye bye